Hi everyone, it's Anthony from Gaming Cards and More, and this is my first franchise mode video for NHL 20. And we are the Calgary Flames. So, up to this point, I've just done coaching and scouts, so you don't have to see that all on camera. But I can show you the lines here before we get started. I did edit the lines, not made any trades. So there's an idea of what we've got going for us at the moment. Um, my first order of business is I want to trade Stone. Uh, just to get rid of him, I'm going to play Valimaki and hope he can grow a little bit. So rather than have Valimaki scratch. So my scratch is Shillington. So let's just move Stone on, get rid of some cap there. And then start some simulation and see how we do. And we're going to do find a trade here and see what we can get. And now it's not a lot of cap. It's only 700,000. But so we can get a second and a fifth from Vegas. And a second and fifth from Toronto. The seconds this year. I like that. And I really don't want to take a player back, so I'm thinking uh, we're going to go with the second and the fifth. To get a second for him is pretty good. Um, I don't want a blue second, so I will go with the two, even though Toronto should be pretty good. That's the one we're going to go with. And we don't have a whole lot of prospects down in the system, so hopefully we can do well but um, let's just get going with some simulation get through uh, maybe a month or so and see how we do hopefully we don't get devastated with injuries so preseason's never uh, something you should be worrying about so I mean it might give you some indication but Michael was out. Must have been a minor thing. We're taking a thrashing in preseason after starting off decent though. Alright. I had already assigned the scouts. So let's get on to the regular season and see how it goes. So we're breaking 500. And we have an injury in the AHL. Move Dubé up. And who did we lose here? Froley. Sarnik substitute we already did that because it popped up so we are three and three I don't know if the check was hurt four and three at the moment and let's check out some drafts so we don't have great scouting right off the bat and I will let you know that I did put some friends in the game so if you see someone that like you obviously Lafrenet should be going first but he's not probably so but we'll get some guys scouted normally I don't like doing this part of it it's a little boring but it's really crucial in the early points of the game to get some good scouts or some prospects uh, in your pool so
looks like our scouts have been slacking a little bit. They got like absolutely nothing going for us at the moment. So. That's pretty bad. Um. Let's get some of these other guys here. These could be some gems later on that you can use for trade value or they might actually pan out. few of them done. Goalies are always a good one to uh, get and that should be good for now just to get that started. So now we've got Frolik back and we can take Sarnik out. And we will continue on. Oh, and we get Davidson back. Minor injuries though going on here. Seven four and one with a big three nothing shutout over Florida. Speaking of injuries, there goes Hamannick. So we will slide in Shillington into all lines. Big nine one loss. What a thrashing! Now we lose Mangiapani which is fantastic right now with all these injuries, but we get Sarnik in there. Respond with a win and then take a loss right away. So, 8-6-1 and one after the first month. Not a terrific record. Not expecting a lot out of this team at the moment. We got Goudreau, point per game. How everyone else is doing. Monahan's got 13. Hannafin's got 13. Backlund's got 11. Bennett's got 6. Kachuk's only got 6. So I'm thinking I'm going to have to find a, some extra ice time for Kachuk somehow. I, want, I don't want him stunted. So... Day there, button was laggy, but special teams he is on the first power play. Let me see if I can spread some love. See if we can spread that out a little bit. That looks all right. So I'm not going to make a whole lot of wholesale changes. The goalies, I imagine, are not going to be fantastic for us. But let's get another month, and we will see where we're at after two months of play might stop somewhere in here. So Tyler Wertherspoon. No, thank you. There's a big win. Another win. I think right about now would be the time if we could 
it would be like to start looking at who's not so good in the league and what their draft picks are worth and possibly hoping to snag like some sort of lottery pick but we get Mangiapani back let's see how Sarnik did he's got four points and a plus one rating in 12 games so that's good for our depth same as Mangiapani pretty much who was in there Oh, we are taking some beatings. Our somewhat decent record has now fallen to almost 500. We're going to get Shillington out. Put in Hamannick. And let's see how this goes. That was a big rebound win. So just staying over 500 with a shutout. And then there's three in a row, so that's good. And we lose to Buffalo. We lose Nielsen and Stockton, one of our top D guys, but we're going to put in Hamilton. So as it stands, we're tied for first three-way tie in our division. So it seems pretty weak for the division, but we've got Goudreau still clicking at a point per game we'll do a little more in depth on the points here for you guys so we will go forwards Goudreau, Monaghan, Froelich, Backlund, Lindholm, Jankowski, Kachuk not having a great year I'm wondering if I move him and Lindholm because Lindholm doesn't seem to be doing super well up on that first line Bennett is playing, yeah, 9 points, 29, not bad. So, wrong one. Defenseman, Hannafin, Brody, Geo, all doing awesome. Uh, points wise, Geo and Hannafin and Shillington, not so much for the plus minus. Goalies, Ritter is taking the reins. Bit better stats. But we need someone that can start winning us some games. So, hoping that's Riddick. Now, let's go take a peek and see what's out in Trade Land. So, we are looking for somebody who wants to get rid of their 2020 first round pick that doesn't have. A great record. Well, Chicago's killing it, so we don't want theirs. Same with Dallas. Now there's one we could be looking at. Florida's. So it's got a very fair chunk of value. And we don't have a lot of prospects. But what I can do is offer them later first round picks and as we start building our prospect pool um, get those back or other first round picks but yeah our prospect pool is very 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 limited very limited so I'd like to keep Peltier and then it's all NHL talent after that so I mean this guy here and it's likely gonna take some sort of draft pick they don't want extra salary well the only one that's got Salary is seven hundred eighty-five thousand dollars. So I will retain. Maybe if I take a salary player back from them. Free keeper. 
Connolly could slot into my well, it's someone like Owen Tippett who's got another fair chunk of value but we can throw in another draft pick say maybe a third be better than a third I don't want to give anything up for this year or next year really And they aren't interested. I wonder if I make a second first. Because I want draft picks early. Like I said, as I build the prospect pool, I can get first rounders back. But I don't want to overextend to the point that we are totally messed there we go good enough okay so that gets us first hopefully Florida tanks it's gonna be good year for rookies this year same with next year so some more creative guys coming in and let's just get up to here done and see how we're doing Do a quick look at the draft. I mean, we don't really need to scout Lafreniere. We know what he's going to be. But we will try and get a little more showing up here because we don't know where we are going to be, you know, could be a lottery there, so. Holtz scouted. Lucas Raymond is not. We'll make sure we upgrade our scouting as we go along, too, in future seasons. Our goal is to bring a cup to Calgary, so that hasn't happened for quite some time. I don't have a scout there. Wow. Okay. I'll have to check that out. And that's enough for going down the list for now. Let's check this way and see what we can find. that at the top he needs more scouting being scouted not being scouted you know, we're gonna try and get a few guys And see what we can get in the first couple of years. That should be good for now. So they want a third and a fifth for our Brown and a third and a seventh. No, thank you. Nielsen is back. Back 
again. Brandon Davidson's now out. They're just alternating injuries here. And Hamilton's going to get some more ice time. Did alright in his four games. Not terrific. Sorry. Reader. I don't want to best lines that. All of that. We are taking some losses. Jankowski is now out with a concussion. going to throw Shillington in and take him off center. A couple more losses. Four losses in a row there. And then a win against Toronto in overtime. And now we get Reader back. Which, thank freaking goodness. Him back. These injuries are just killing us. I mean, I didn't expect to be an overly great team, but I didn't also expect to just be getting slaughtered on the injury front. There's some wins. Take a loss to Minnesota. Gotta beat the Oilers. <laughs> Take a 6 3 loss. Yikes. At least beat the Canucks. And Lindholm's gone till the fifth with a mild concussion. Okay, well. In this case, I'm actually going to call somebody up. I'm not putting Jankowski in on the second line. We're going to bring up Dubé. Stockton needs someone, so we're going to put in this Lindstrom. It's a big win against Chicago, another one against the Rangers, 7-1, turning things around, and we get Lindholm back. So Dubé played one game, had a penalty, and was a plus two.
Let's put Lindholm back in. And I think I'm going to take Mangiapani out. Use him as depth. And put Dubé in. And now I just want to see who has the better face-offs. 78, 72, okay. We're going to put Dubé at center. Even though he doesn't have better face-offs, he is a center. So maybe we can grow the face-offs. Lucic is not doing well on this line. So let's go like that. And I don't expect Bennett to be playing phenomenal up here. So that's not my goal. My goal is just to hopefully help him grow a little bit. He is getting older. And I'm hoping playing with the first line will get him there. Second and a fifth or a third in Richardson. No, thank you. Couple more wins. Nice shutout. And then a 2 1 overtime loss. We got Jankowski back. So Sarnik. For Jankowski. Dubé not exactly lighten it up, but try bumping him up, see if that helps his cause at all, and as soon as I bump him up he gets injured, beautiful, so Mangiapani is going to draw back in, I could have put Sarnik in, but we'll get Mangiapani in. It's a big win against Edmonton. And then a shootout loss against Montreal. He was never really fully hurt. Dubé's back. Couple tough losses there, and then another one to Ottawa. We'll take a quick peek at the scouting. Being scouted. Let's get Lundell scouted a little more if we can. Holtz is good. Raymond's good. Chung needs some scouting. I have a hard time believing that's what he is going to be in that spot. Alright, no scouts for him. So we get a few of these guys done and scouted. Since there's absolutely no information, I don't know what my scouts are doing. Just taking it easy, having a smoke break, whatever. Kind of thought they'd get some of this done, but I was maybe mistaken. Now before I go and sort by potential, I want to check out the ones that we did have pinned. That's not bad at medium top six at 109. So now we'll sort by potential. And see. So this is could be something here. Might as well get it checked out.
This could also be something. It's already being scouted though. They could turn out to be low elites or top sixes or top fours or such like that. So you, it's worth throwing your scouts out. I know it's kind of boring, but uh, it is worth it for the value, especially in the first few years when you're starting with a team that maybe isn't so awesome. Um, as you can see, our prospect pool is pretty, pretty bad. And that should be good. So let's get going. There goes our Lindstrom. He was substituting for Dubé. We got another Gujo, that's funny. Yikes. We just can't get anything that makes sense. There. At least it's not reds. Oh, now down goes Valamaki. We're just injury riddled. Chillington's going to draw back in. And now Bennett's gone with a mild concussion. Beautiful. Because that's what you want to see. So we will draw Sarnik in. Right. Let's put Sarnik in. Down here, I think Geo's got enough ice time that I'm gonna put in Dubé. Big win over Edmonton, a big eight nothing over St. Louis. So coming up to the trade deadline, we are 29, 18, and five. We do not have a point to game player at the moment. Goudreau is almost there. Uh, Lindholm with 40. Monaghan with 38. He's had drop off. Could be a lot to do with having Bennett up there. Um, which doesn't seem to be really paying off anyways. So... Dubé's got three points in eight, so maybe we switch him when he comes back. Could be a possibility. There's a look at the defensemen. Geo, Hannafin, Brody. Valamaki's got 12, that's good. And our goalie's situation. Riddick's kind of taking the reins and rolling with it, which is good what I was hoping for let's take a look and see where Florida is at and because we do have their first pick first overall pick or draft pick Panthers 50 points so they're down there they could be a good chance at a draft lottery but uh, we're gonna get up to the deadline and then we'll finish the video there day before the deadline and so then we will, in the next video, decide what kind of moves we may want to make to bolster our lineup depending where we're at for the deadline situation. So we get our defenseman back in Stock Stockton. And he's in there. Oh, a broken leg for Dubé. Oh, no. 
not at all what I wanted to see. Ah, I don't like that. Yikes. Not at all what I wanted. I'm Dubé. That, that's disheartening. We already put Valamaki back in. It's 4 1 loss. Taking a few losses now. 3 0 loss. Bounce back win. Take the extra point against Vancouver. Five one loss against San Jose. Thirty twenty two and five is our record. Things are going to go a little slower now that we're getting up to the deadline with some trade offers. So Fisher to San Jose for a s two seconds and Truchon Veal. Okay, here's a bigger one to Nashville to Foley Lewis Ryan Ledoux to Los Angeles a first a fifth a sixth and Benino Speaking of Los Angeles We have them next to Boston Golgoski a third a fourth and a fourth to Arizona first and back as We lost and lost three game losing streak. We got to turn this around here Tuola has been injured. that and continue on our way to the deadline here so with a loss we are taking some L's to Boston Green and Terry to Detroit Zobrol and Moore and we won against Anaheim we lose another player in Stockton Hamilton will sub in And I'm just going to continue because that give Hamilton gave that line a plus five. So a fifth and a sixth for Schaller and a fifth. No thank you. I want to keep my draft picks. Zarnik, Zarnik is hurt. So I'll just leave Shillington. Frustrating. Extremely frustrating. The injuries. Too many injuries. Jets have fired their coach. It's five went two, so back to back wins to Detroit. Cassian in a second to Edmonton Howard and a third. Trade deadline is coming. And we ended up beating Detroit. So here we are at the deadline. 33, 25, and 5. Looks like we are pushing to the playoffs. We're second in the division. We have Florida's first. And they've moved up into fourth. 
So we need them to follow off. It's real tight there with Ottawa, Detroit, and Tampa. We should be doing better. So we got to hope Florida falls off. And uh, do we add something? I mean, I don't expect to go deep, and we don't have a lot to trade. No prospects. Um, so, I mean, you can see where we're at. We could go in and sign another depth forward, maybe, for this injury. If there is a depth forward out there. So, Kruger and Nason are out there. I think I'll go with Nason. We'll just offer him a contract. For one year we need to shed some contract space so let's see what we've got contract wise that we can think about moving someone like Froleek someone like Ryan And we'd have to get players because we're riddled with injuries. So hopefully just cheaper players. So that's it. We'll do the trade deadline in the next video. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Um, let me know what you think we should do. Have a great day, guys.